everybody, this is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and Peak Performance, and I am your integrated peak performance consultant and advisor, giving you tips and strategies so you can live your life at higher levels of peak performance. I'm also the author of Journey of Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, a blueprint for life balance and self-mastery, available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, and in Canada, Chapters Indigo Online. All right, so what is this? This is Soulful Saturday. This is a part of the week where we focus on the soul, we focus on being authentic, being true to our, who we really are, and caring for the soul. But under soul, we also focus on uh, having abundance in our lives because I have noticed, and I've written it in my book, I have noticed that in the past, when I found out the more money I made, the more I spent. For some reason, even if I made more money, I'm always stayed in debt. And I got to a point when I, it really hit me that it was my lack of feeling of, that I deserve to have abundance in my life. And I realized that debt and, and, and struggle with money is not an outside thing. It's not that the economy or anything to do with that, because there's other people who are doing great. It was my inside. It was feeling deserving like I deserve to have this abundance in my life. And some of you might, might feel that same way, that you, you get a raise and you said, if I got a raise, it'd be, it'd put you over the top, but somehow your expenses increased or you found some way to lose it, and that's what we're talking about. That's why I put it under the soul. It's a feeling of being deserved. So if it's your first time watching me, I give you three videos a week. Mind, body, and soul. Today is the soul. Monday is the mindset, Monday mindset. And Wednesday is hump day hustle where we talk about the body. So I give you three videos, mind, body, and soul. All right, so let's get on with this one. Today I want to talk about, on Soulful Saturday, I want to talk about time and money, the link between the two. Here's what I found. Those who tend to waste time, and they say that, North Americans watch six hours of TV a night, that's five days a week, that's 30 hours, and then weekends probably add some more, so that's a whole work week wasted on watching TV, useless TV. And I tell you, when I surf that channel, when I surf my, my home and I look at the all, there's thousands of channels, but nothing on them, just repeated junk all over that channel, and, and really you only watch one or two shows at the end of the day. So people who waste time, end up struggling with money. Think about someone in your life, or maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Think about it. It's a tough one to admit. I had to admit that to myself, that I was wasting time not getting to the goals that I want, income earning activities. I was busy wasting time either watching too much TV or wasting it some other way, and I wasn't getting to my dream. I wasn't getting to my purpose, why I'm here on this planet. That's what I should be getting to, not, not filling the, the, the pockets of somebody else by watching too much TV. Think about 40 hours a week, what you could do. That's a whole university degree. That's a whole new part-time job to pay off the debt that you have. That's what I mean about wasting time. I met a guy when I was going through school who told me he didn't pass, it's his second round of this school and he was struggling. They said the first time he didn't pass the whole program because the, the Toronto Maple Leafs, way back when, was in the playoffs. And you know that was a long time ago. If you're a Leafs fan, you're struggling. But that was way back in the playoff, way back in the day, he said he didn't make it through school because the Leafs were in the playoff and he was distracted. Can you believe that? You go through two years of toiling and, st and studying and you didn't quite pass because the Leafs were in the playoffs. That's what I'm talking about. Time and money are linked. They're totally linked together. So I want you to go in your journal. I want you to talk about, start to track your time. Go into your journal, the greatness journal, your journal, your personal journal, whatever it is. These are great places to track everything that's struck. Whatever you monitor gets better. So I want you to start writing in your journal. Start tracking your day, tracking your food. You can track whatever you track gets better. But in this exercise, track your time and start to track your money as well and see when you start seeing yourself wasting that time and figure out that geez you know I'm in debt I could be either one or two things reducing finding ways I can reduce my expenses or increase my income maybe studying something else so I can move up in the company or new technologies I can add it to my service whatever it is something to help bring in more income and increase your value that you're giving to your clients or your workplace. That is how you move forward. So that's the exercise. Time and money are linked. Check it out. See if you're doing that. I had to go introspection. I had to check me out 
if I was doing that, and I found I was. I was having trouble, and again, that all links back to what I was talking about earlier, feeling like you deserve it, okay? Because if you feel like you deserve abundance in your life, you won't be wasting your time on activities that will feed somebody else and not you. All right? So that is a tip for this Saturday, Soulful Saturday. Protect your soul. Feel deserving. You deserve to have. If someone else is having it, you can have it too. So that's my tip for you. That's how you can get to peak performance. That's how you can get to your personal greatness and to protect the soul. All right? Check out our website, the Center for Healing and Peak Performance.com and Journey to Personal Greatness.com. Connect with us. Find out how we can help you to get over to your, get up to that next level of your personal greatness. Because I want you to be relentless in your pursuit for personal greatness. Namaste. Have a great Saturday, and we'll see you on Monday. Peace and love.